And our next speaker, Martin Luther King III, who as president of Realizing the Dream has inspired people around the world with his message of hope and equality for 20 years. It's not easy to be a legacy with any kind of big name and have to follow in those footsteps, and, and I have a little appreciation for that, Martin. <clears throat> but I can tell you, you have, I've seen you over the years. Um, you worked for my, my late father. You worked for the causes of justice, and you really do your family name proud by your own contribution to social justice. Let me give you all Martin Luther King III. Well, good evening, and let me uh, thank God for the opportunity to be here. One of the things that Patrick forgot to say, which was probably one of the most important things that I enjoyed, was when he first ran for Congress, I came up and campaigned with him. So that's very important because, quite frankly, what he's doing today is partially a result of what he was able to do in Congress, where perhaps it was nurtured many years before that, but in Congress, certainly he was able to, with his colleagues, Speaker Gingrich and so many others, accomplish so much. This evening, uh, I'm gonna take a brief moment, although I come out of a family of uh, Baptist preachers. Uh, won't be long. I'll show you. <laughs> but let me just say uh, how honored I am to have been invited to be a part of this effort at the Kennedy Forum. And uh, Patrick and Ted, I can never come to Boston or anywhere in this country without thinking about your father for there probably, there certainly is not anyone in the United, there are great people in the Senate, but there's no one that measures up to what your father was able to do for so many throughout our nation and world. I know you miss him daily, but Americans miss him also. I would go so far as to say, in my, in my book, your father was the greatest senator of all United States senators. I just want you to know that he lives on in my heart. And I know that he would be very proud of each of you and the work 